Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to drop the subframe with the engine out of your front wheel drive car without a lift. We can't all afford lifts, so this has got to be the best way I found to do it. So if you don't have a lift or can't even afford one like me, you can do it this way, which makes it a lot easier. So check it out. So all you need is a motorcycle lift. <laughs> That's all I bought. This thing's rated for 1,500 pounds. My engine weighed way less than that, so that was good. I bought some 4 fours, put them on there, screwed 2 fours to the end to hold the on the edge of the subframe hold it in there so it wouldn't wobble too much and you can ratchet strap it onto there or whatever you want that's that's all up to you that's good what's awesome with this is that you can just raise it with the foot lower it with the foot and move it around because it's on wheels afterwards so you don't have to find a spot to put it on to to roll it around you just leave it on there and roll around until you're ready to put it back on so yeah all you have to do is jack your car up as high as you can put jack stands on it put this contraption underneath it jack it up put a little bit of pressure on there you don't want it too high because this thing it does reach two feet, so it's pretty high, but you don't want it too high like, where you can't put pressure on it, or a little bit of pressure. You don't need to lift the whole car up from the front. You want to put a little bit of pressure on it, then you can undo the bolts and you can drop the whole subframe of the car. The only tricky part is, is you're going to have to be able to lift the front of the car end up a little higher so you can get your engine out from underneath it. And the way I did that was I just had a 4x4 four four all the way across with my jack underneath it, jacked it up, pulled it out. That way it wasn't underneath it at all while the whole thing was high. It may have been a little bit sketchy, but I wasn't in any danger of anything falling on me, so that was okay. So that is something you guys can do. I'll show you pictures of it there. This worked amazing to change out my transmission on my car. It was awesome. I changed it from an automatic to a manual, so doing that gave me access to inside of the bay as well, as well as taking the transmission out and in without doing a whole lot of swearing at it, I guess. So yeah, like it worked great, and that's how I did it. Hopefully that helps you guys a lot out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and catch you in the next video.